Hi, I'm Replica and I'm going to show you how to make a ceiling door for Duke Nukem 3D using Mapster 64. You've got the option of using your Mapster 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm just going to use this for now. It exactly should be the same in Mapster 32. And I'm just going to start it. It's been a while since I've used the map editor, so if I make any mistakes, I do apologize. First of all, to create your door, you should be able to be familiar with creating sectors first. You will need at least two sectors so that you can have a door joined in between them. So to create a ceiling door, I'm just going to use this example between these two sectors and I'm going to place the door here. And I'm going to place some vertexes here and create this other sector in the middle. It changes to red so you can walk through it. Also I'm going to create another sector in the middle in between them. So now this middle sector here is going to be our ceiling door. Press the right enter key to go back into 3D mode. You can resize the door however you like. I'm just going to make mine smallish. I think that should be okay maybe. Or maybe. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll just leave it like that for now. Once you've done that, you're happy with the size of your door and how it's going to be. You will maybe want to create some textures on the sides. Uh, I haven't really... I pressed the V, selected it, pressed the V for our textures, pressed the V again for our texture list and maybe something like for in this example I don't know maybe something like this um, you can press your tab key to copy textures which might save you time if you think it looks ugly this might look a bit ugly you can always change it to something else <coughs> You can press your F key to flip textures. O for orientation. <laughs> Once you're happy with how it looks, uh, you can just leave it if you want. Copy it again so that we've got the settings saved and place them there. You can just press your tab key copies the texture and enter to paste them. Which is a bit quicker. It's up to you if you want to make these the same. It's I'm just using this as a t tutorial. Once you're happy with how that looks, you can create your floor textures. 
maybe even separate one for your door. See if I can use that for an example. doesn't all have to be the same, you can really choose whatever you want. But now to get to actually making the ceiling door, before you do anything you have an option to save it, press escape in 2D mode, save as, you can call it ceiling, ceiling door 2. So if you ever make a mistake, you can always load it back. So the first thing we do is we want the middle sector to be our door. And to create a ceiling door, we have to change the middle sector and give it a low tag of 20. So if you press the T key while your icon is inside that sector and you can enter 20, you'll see it changes to ceiling door. So now we've given that middle sector a low tag of 20, it's changed and it says ceiling door. So that means it will be a ceiling door type. The next thing you might want to do is how can my door have sound effects? If we go back into 3D mode, press S to insert sprite, V to change our sprite, V again to get sprite list you want a music and sound effector, which is this one. We'll go back into 2D mode and we will move this down to G again, changes the grid size. We'll move it here. It must be in between in the sector for your door. The music and SFX, I recommend you give this for sound effect for a ceiling door, I recommend giving it a low tag by holding down Alt and T while it's selected of 166. That's a good sound for your door. So now every time you open and close it, it will have a sound effect. The next thing you might want to do is, so once somebody opens it, do you want it to auto-close after a certain time? Well, that's also easy to do. All you need is a sector effector. We'll go back into 2D mode, insert sprite, change it to a sector effector, and we will use this inside the sector like the other sprites. So we'll move it here. Now, to do this, we must give it a low tag. I think it's a low tag. Hold Alt and T while it's selected. A low tag of 10? Yes, that's it. It says door auto close. High tag makes the delay. So I've given this sector factor a low tag of 10. It's changed to an auto close sector factor. Now for the delay. You hold down Alt and H to change your sprite high tag number. Now the lower the number, the slower it will be. I'm going to give this 300. We'll see, I'm not sure if that's too slow. It can't be that slow or it can't be that fast. Uh, we'll see how that is. So now that's got a delay of 300. So we'll see how that works once it's working. Next thing, you. what about the speed? How can I change the speed of my door? When you open it, how fast does it open and close? All you need to do, <coughs> create another sprite, and you want to choose the speed sprite. Move the speed sprite into the same sector. Now, to change the speed of how fast your door opens and closes, you want to give it a high tag, Alt H, while it's selected. 
maybe something like um, we can start with 400 or something. I don't know how fast that is, but we'll see. Oh, no, actually, it's not. It's not. It's not high tag, it's low tag, I think. So I'll change that back to zero, give it a high tag of 400. Is that right? No, it is low tag, sorry. Zero. Out T low tag, 400. There we go. So that's 400. So that's me giving the speed sprite a low tag of 400. And that will affect how fast your door opens and closes. Just so that we can play the map, I'll press scroll lock to set my player one position here so that we can test it later. Save my map in case I break it again. So now that you've got all these nice door settings, you've got the sand, you've got the speed of the door, you've got auto close. So that, that's, that's a really good start. The next thing you need to do, there's only like two more things you need to do, is lower the ceiling to the grand for the door. And then you've got to give it a door texture. So just now I'm going to see if I can select the ceiling of this door. Hold your left mouse button and that will lock it. Page done to lower the ceiling of the door. So that's fine. Now we want to lower it down to the very bottom, which is here, 8192 level. Now that it's lowered, we need to give it a door texture. We'll just select it and look for our door texture. It can be any door texture you want. Just to keep it simple, I'm just going to find a simple door texture. And where is it? I'm just going to use this door texture here. As soon as you place it, you might find that it doesn't really uh, align properly. All you need to do is use your arrow keys to resize the door. The numeric keys. That looks perfect, maybe. I would just keep it like maybe like that or let's see. If you hold down the Alt key it, it can resize it slower. And also you can move the position of the door instead of resize it. So that looks alright. I'll just keep it like that. But you need to go to the other side, don't forget, and do the same for this one. I'm just gonna copy this texture, tab key. And then enter. And there you go. You don't even have to resize the other size side because you copied the same size on this side. So that's it. That's all you need to do to create a ceiling door. Now just to make sure it works, I'm going to go back into 2D mode, make sure I save my map. And then I'm going to exit. And then I just need to run eduke32 but with my map file. <coughs> and we'll see if it works now. Yep. Now that I've pressed the O key on the sides here, you will see that the ceiling door no longer moves with the wall. And that's exactly what we want. And now we have a perfectly nice working ceiling door. So I hope that helps you next time you want to make a ceiling door with auto close and speed 
Happy map editing. Thanks for watching.